Every student in the state of Mississippi is entitled to a public education. And before a child is denied access to that education, they are entitled to be heard. That hearing is called due process. The Mississippi Center for Justice has represented 400 plus students across the state of Mississippi, and we found that school districts have different ideas of what due process means. It's for that reason that we believe a uniform due process policy must be implemented in this state. So I'm Jadir. I just graduated from Rural Central High School, and I'm 19 years old. But not a game. It was a big game. So me and my teammates, uh, after the game, we had gotten to the car. My auntie, she put, stopped the car, and I got out the car, and she gave me some money. And we got back into the car. We pulled off and left the scene. And we had pulled in by subway. And this one, we seen our, uh, t well, our well, the girls' basketball coach. And she was like, uh, you know, they say that you was in a fight. And I was like, no, nah, I wasn't in a fight. And she had told me, she said, well, you better go find out because they say your name in. The next day, uh, we got to school. It was like 8 o'clock. And we was in our first period class. And they, you know, they started calling a lot of people on the intercom. So we went to the office. And that's when the assistant principal uh, told us that we was going home. And we were like, for what? And he was like, y'all was fighting. We were like, we were not fight. He was like, well, I seen you because you had your orange hood on. And I was like, no, nah, I didn't have my orange hood on because I had my basketball uh, uniform on. And then they just gave us some papers and told us that we had to leave. Then another student who was getting suspended with me, uh, that was he had told him that he was out there and he didn't see me. And we still got sound, and we had to wait till we in. So we set out for 10 days. In Jadarius's case, when he was originally called to the office, he received a three-day suspension. While he was out of school on the three-day suspension, the school then called and informed him that he would be suspended for 10 days. Subsequent to telling him he'd be suspended for 10 days, or as a result of being suspended for 10 days, Jadarius requested an informal hearing. During the course of all of these proceedings, it was learned that Jadarius was now being recommended for expulsion. Expulsion was not a word that had been spoken, not at the initial time that he was suspended, nor the second time when his suspension was escalated to more days. So when I got home, I explained my grandmother what happened. So she got her stuff and she went to the school and she was trying to explain to him that I was not there. So she came back home and it still wasn't a difference. My auntie and my grandmother, they got together to uh, go back to the school to show them that they had proof that I was not uh, in a fight because my auntie had pictures in her phone of the fight. And when they had got to the school, they came back and it still wasn't a difference. Well, my friend who a car I was in and my other friend who was at the fight, they told the sister principal that I was not there in the fight or involved in the fight and it still didn't make a difference. Students have a right to be heard. At the time that Jadarius was informed that he was being suspended for fighting after the basketball game, he tried to refute the charges by stating that he wasn't wearing the orange jacket that the principal had seen him in and that he wasn't even on campus at the time of the fight. He also had additional witnesses there at the school, other students who could tell the principal and assistant principal that they did not see Jadarius there when the fight started. After repeated attempts by his grandmother and his aunt, who provided the principal pictures of people in orange hoodies who were not Jadarius, they still refused to listen and consider that before escalating his punishment. I have a right to call witness because I probably wouldn't have any witnesses. I probably wouldn't be a great way to Students have a right to a standard of proof. Jadarius was suspended based on an assumption Something more should be required before students are denied their fundamental right to a public school education. Students should have the right to representation. Representation that can include an attorney, a parent, guardian, and or an advocate on their behalf. Students should also have the right to review all of the information that's being presented against them. They should have an, opp an opportunity to review the case and to look at the violations prior to going to the hearing. Students should have the right to call witnesses and to cross-examine witnesses that the district may call.